Hello again, beautiful people in our digital world. Welcome back for another one of our five minute messages. My name is Brian Steele, and I have the privilege of being the pastor at St. Paul United Methodist Church in Bloomfield Hills and Hazel Park United Methodist Church. I'd like to begin today with a reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 1. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak compassionately to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her compulsory service has ended, that her penalty has been paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Comforting words. The people Isaiah was speaking to were in need of that comfort. They were feeling isolated, lost, alone, they needed some hope. Comforting the afflicted. That's what we do in the church. Part of what we do. But it's amazing what happens to that word, comfort, when you add just four letters to it. A, B, L, E. Comfortable. When the comfort becomes a habit and the only way of life we know. Be, let me be clear. The church is a place where we are called to comfort anyone and everyone in times of affliction. But nowhere are we called to be comfortable. Becoming comfortable is when we have taken our legitimate human need for comfort in times of struggle and turned that into the model, paradigm, pattern what we're always supposed to receive. But the church that Jesus came to form isn't just about making us feel good. Friends, if you are in need of comfort, we're here for that. It's a privilege to walk alongside you in whatever way you need. But if you're looking for a church to make you comfortable, we're not for you. The place where we are at in the life of the church, speaking bigger than just our two churches, but really the mainstream church across our country, um, we can't afford to make ourselves comfortable anymore. Not if we're gonna take our mission seriously. Jesus and his way of life did not make people comfortable. Frankly, if he had been about making people comfortable, he probably would have never been brought up on charges and crucified. Because when we become comfortable, we become very focused on ourselves and our own preferences. But that's not why the church exists. The church exists to equip us to be God's people in the world. And sometimes that requires us to be made uncomfortable. And here's what I found. People out in the world, maybe you who are seeing, watching this, who haven't gone into church in forever, but people are looking for something meaningful. They're not looking for something comfortable. They're looking for something meaningful. And we can't get to meaningful if we just stay comfortable. In the church today, We've made it very difficult to get in. Because of a lot of our customs and traditions, the way we do things, um, and all it and have for years and years gone by, it's like people walk in the doors and have to go through an obstacle course just to understand the church. But then, if by some miracle people get through our obstacle course, we tell them you can just be comfortable. And friends, I think we need to switch that. We need to make the church accessible. We need to make it comfortable to access. But then make sure that we are giving people something meaningful to be a part of. So, I'm going to be honest, if you're part of the church, I hope this message made you a little uncomfortable. I say that with all the love I can. But if you're not part of your church, I hope you know this is a place where you will be comforted. 
and a place that will provide opportunities for something meaningful, which isn't always comfortable. So friends, that's it for today's five minute message. We'll see you next week. And remember, if you live locally in the greater Detroit area, you are welcome to join us at either church on Sunday mornings, 945 at St. Paul or 1115 at Hazel Park. Always remember, God is here to comfort because God loves you and there's nothing you can do about it. Have a great weekend, folks. See you next time.